Hi, this is Andrew Tyvel. I am in the Recording Arts Program, and this is my podcast assignment for Art History for the month of August 2012. My interviewee is Eric Fazzini, a fellow recording arts student here at Full Sail University and also interested in sound design for the video game industry. Question number one is, what do you see as the role of the visual arts in our mass-mediated world and particularly in your profession? His response was, the role of visual arts in our mass-mediated world is a pretty big part in the in the video game industry as well as the post-production form as well. In post-production, directors are looking for the per perfect camera angle or perfect shot. In video games, companies are always looking to push the graphic limits to get the best visuals for the gamers, as well as high definition for television and movies. For question number two, the question reads, with new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on the industry? And provide an example. His response, I grew up without the ability to just put a search into Google Images and get exactly what I needed. I used to have to go to the libraries or other sources for my art. Now I can take a tour of a museum online as well as look up a picture of essentially anything I am looking for. In a way, this is very beneficial to the industry. Sometimes when I'm designing a sound for something, I will look up look at images and try to imagine what they would sound like. It's easier for me to have a good visualization for what I am creating, so I think immediate media accessibility is great. Question number three, what popular images do you see that are frequently rechanneled throughout the in entertainment industry? His answer, I enjoy video games, so whenever I see the Xbox logo or Nintendo logo, it immediately makes me think of a specific game for that system. Industries try to tr <clears throat> Try and drill imagery into your head to familiarize yourself with a game or movie. But the most popular thing that I can think of in my industry are logos for the Sony PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo. These are generally easy rec easily recognizable and displayed everywhere on game sites as well as other online sources for advertisements. The fourth question, are there particular images that the industry has popularized and or created? He replied, our society is a very visual one. Every company has a logo or something that will entice you to get into their establishment or buy their product. The most popular video games seem to be violent, so in the commercials that they, sh they will show the parts of the game that are more hardcore visually. The better the visual, the more likely they are going to buy, to, to buy the game. Question number five, who is your, one of your favorite visual artists and or what your favorite style of visual art? He replied, aside from my friends, I would have to say that my favorite visual artist is Don Hertzfeld. He draws simple stick figures, but he is able to remote them so accurately that it amazes me how he does it. Though I like simplicity, I also enjoy a lot of retro art as well as Japanese animation and character drawings. And question number six, how has your knowledge of famous artwork influenced your creative process? His answer, I don't generally use famous artwork when working with a per piece per se, but when I am creating a sound or trying to play something auditory to a visual medium, it always helps me to have something to look at so I can get the ideas as to what to create for whatever it is I am working on. This has been my podcast, and thank you for listening.